How's going? Today I'll show you how to get VHDL box application to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. And without any further ado, the first step that you gotta take is get the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. You can get downloader free of charge. To do so, just go to search on your Fire Stick, open the search bar, and now what you have to do is start typing downloader in the search. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. Click on Downloader, and now that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got Downloader, it's not over yet, because you still have to set it up. So now to set it up, you need to go to Settings by clicking this button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And now what you have to do in here is turn on developer options for your Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make one appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. And now open developer options, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install known apps. And from here, all we have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now we go back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, which is right here, let's open it. And now here is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say they'll connect to Belgium right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So now we go back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, here it is, let's open it and head straight into Downloader. Open up the Downloader application now, and there in the search bar, all you have to do is start typing in the code, which will be 863280. So once again, 863280, that's the code you have to enter, then just click on Go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. And now the download of the app has started and it usually does not take long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. 
then you have to click on install and make sure that the app also gets properly installed to your Fire TV Stick device. And after that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So click on delete and then delete once again. And now finally, let's go back to the list of the Fire TV Stick. Open up and here is the HDL box application which we just installed to your Fire Stick. So enjoy the app and don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe online.